live stream going on my end here on the computer. You guys know what to do. Uh, let me know if you can hear me down in the live chat, if the audio is adjusted correctly. Um, just let me know. Give me a couple seconds here, though. You guys can read the, read the title. How's everybody doing? Hopefully, hopefully everyone can hear me. Cool. The live is up on my end. Turning volume down so I can monitor the chat. What's up, live chat? Let me know if you can hear me. Um, I'll definitely be in here. Sup, Doug? There he is. Cool. Cool. What's up, Dylan? How we doing, bro? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Getting a couple last little things together. You got to know what we're doing today. You know what we're doing today. What is up? Cool. T6, boy. Yes, sir. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. We can. Okay, guys. Uh, you see the description of the video. Um, not going to beat around the bush too much here. Um, definitely doing the oil, a chain adjustment. Um, but the biggest thing, and this is something that I definitely wanted to address. What's up? I'm, I'm trying to read the chat too. What's up, everybody? The biggest thing that a lot of us stunters forget about, um, especially when it comes into these warmer months, I've already been out riding this thing this year, obviously, and the temperature on the bike I've noticed has gone up quite a bit. This is uh, something I've addressed, man, two years ago, maybe. Um, how to keep your bike cool. This is what I've found to work the best. Distilled water with uh, one ounce for every quart um, per. So I normally put about one third of the bottle in into the radiator once everything's said and done. So first things first, let's start draining all this stuff out. I'm gonna be able to monitor your guys' live chat from my laptop here. So if you have questions, comments, concerns, just wanna say hi to me, um, let me know. I'll definitely be monitoring it. Um, the bike currently has 66,000 miles on it. So uh, I haven't done an oil change or anything like that in a couple events here. So I'm definitely lacking on it. So make sure you stay on top of your maintenance and uh, let's get into this one. We're gonna crack open the coolant first. So this, this bro right here. Grab an eight millimeter. What is up? Yo, what's up, Jixer Joe? How we doing, brother? <clears throat> eight millimeter. What is up? Come to ATL for hoodies. Oh man, I've wanted to ride in ATL for a long time, man. Definitely. Oh no, that's not the girl. It's the other one. I, I replaced it with a 10 mil, my bad. So this is your drain plug right here. The bottom of this girl. Ugh, Brat, what's up, my guy? Happy birthday, Justin. Hey, Justin, you got some you got some people in the live chat saying happy birthday. Thank you. Hey, he's over here wrapping uh wrapping another 636 six right now. So if you guys want, wish wish him a happy birthday. He's right here. Happy birthday, Justin. A lot of people saying happy birthday, boy. You're a popular guy, Jay. I'm gonna come over here, crack the reservoir cap. She should come squirting. Woo! Getting that coolant out of here. Come to Boston, Red's Fox Body. Man, Boston would be sick. The food you guys got out there and just like, I don't know. I, I, I can't believe I have never ridden out there. Boston, Philly, um, a couple of those East Coast cities I definitely need to hit. Getting rid of this nasty green coolant. I only really run this in the winter, so my distilled water doesn't freeze um, when we do have these really cold days here in Chicago. Happy birthday, Jixer Joe says. Um, I, uh, he says thank you, everybody. He's a man of little words. That's why we love him, though. Um, come out to Philly, silly. Yeah, I want to, man. Philly, Philly looks like a good-ass time, to be honest. Let that sit there and drain. Yo, who eats in Detroit? C, what's up, brother? Hell yeah, I, I definitely need to make Detroit too. Detroit's one of those, one of those cities that definitely. Uh, I know you guys got a lot of hood eats there, no doubt about that. City with a lot of fucking history in it too. Engine ice time? No, 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 no. Like I just said before, we're gonna be doing a mixture of distilled water and water wetter. That is what I have found to work the absolute best, man, and it and it does. <clears throat> We are gonna pull this girl. We're gonna pull the coolant out. Pull that, switch drain pans, so now we can also do the oil. We're 
We're going to be letting everything just drain here. Ew, this nasty ass rag. Come ride in Tampa. We got the deadliest highways in the U.S. Yeah, I'm going to pass on that. I've ridden in Tampa before. I've ridden in Tampa. That's no. Big wheelie guy, Zach goes. Hey, Zach fucking go. Acknowledge my guy, Zach goes. He's back on fucking YouTube. Um, if you're not subscribed with the bell to my boy, I don't even get out of my fucking live chat. That boy, I love Zach. I love you, Zach. Uh, I think it's a 14 mil with an extension. 14 mil with an extension. Yeah, if that doesn't make everyone's heart skip a beat that Zach Goes is back on YouTube posting regularly, man. All right, I'm going to hop over to the other side and crack the drain bowl. Uh, I guess I can crack it from this side. I normally don't, but... Give Jixxer the wrench, Brian. Ah. More coolant coming up. Love you too, baby. I love you, bro. Welcome back, Zach. Ah. Man. Sorry, boys. This drain plug is being a you know what. Can a mod drop Zach's link? Just click on his, uh, just click on his profile, bro. Zach goes. First one that'll come up. Boy's a legend here on YouTube. What do you think your longest wheelie is? Um, Riley asks. I don't know, a couple miles at least. Probably more than that, actually. Oh, that is some black oil. That's black, black. Get you guys down there. Get you a better perspective. Let me grab a red. Grab a rag. Into the belly of the beast. Look at that. Ugh. Black gold, yeah. It is nasty. Wow, get him to one mil. He's so close. I am not close to one mil. Zach goes is uh, way past that. Wipe off my hands here. I should probably be wearing gloves, to be honest. So I always run one of these too. Alan, thank you, brother. Holy hell, I love you, man. Thanks for being you. Just nothing else to say. I Victorious, what the fuck is going on? Dude, another 20. Thank you guys, man. Holy hell. Hey, Jay, we're going out to dinner. The live chat's going, taking you out to a birthday dinner. Thank you guys, for real. Uh, we appreciate that. Uh, the 636 appreciates that. Lord knows she ain't cheap. Uh, really, for real. So I, what I was saying is I always, I've been running one of these too. I don't want to say this is one of the tricks of the trade, but this is definitely something that I would invest in, a magnetic drain plug. Um, definitely something that will pick up the little burrs like this in between your oil changes. And it might not look like a lot, but that's stuff that can definitely fuck up your motor uh, in the long run if it just stays in the bottom of your... Uh, drain pan and just keeps getting recirculated. Yeah, 66K, there's, a, there's quite a bit on it. So go ahead, we uh, run some contact cleaner over this and clean this off as we're letting the oil drain. <clears throat> Come up to British Columbia, my guy, Canada trip. Uh, maybe, I don't know. I've heard Canada is pretty fucking strict with stunt riding, man. I don't think that's the move, I don't know. I don't know. We got a bunch of metal on here, actually. See how dirty it was? Drain plug was dirty. Go ahead and put that off to the side. And what do we got left? We're gonna pop the oil filter. You guys already know. Um, I got a little drilled hole here for that Allen to fit in. Let's see if I can lower this down a little bit for you. That way we can get the tripod a bit lower. Just for a minute or two, just for this filter. There we go. So what I was talking to you about is I drilled two holes here, uh, depending on where the Allen is. Um, it's, you know, easier to get the Allen in there 
for this safety that's on these 636s oil filter. Yo, wheelie, wheels on wheels. Yo, what's up, Brian? Just wanted to say you're a huge inspiration to me and I'm paralyzed from the chest down from a motorcycle wreck, but still ride a custom bike every day I can. I still want to get a 636. Man, bro. I, I, I don't even know what to say to that. You're fucking, you're a beast. You're fucking, you're, I, I can't even say anything else. You're an inspiration to a lot of us, I'll tell you that much. You definitely love the sport more than 99.999% of people, man. Guys that ride without limbs or, or especially someone like you in your situation, like just honored to have you in the chat, bro, for real. <clears throat> Holy fuck, Red's Fox Body, 50 bucks, beer's on me. My guy's getting margaritas tonight. Look at that boy. Thank you, bro. Thank you, Red's Fox Body. Holy fuck, man. I think that's the biggest fucking super chat we've ever had, man. That's crazy. I, like beer. I know you like beer. <laughs> Dude, thank you. For real, man. Thank you. Um, can we get those thumbs up, folks? Yeah, thank you. So I go ahead and stick her right in the hole. Let's see if I can get a better angle for you. I line it up. Put this hole here. There it is. For everyone who doesn't know what I'm doing, there's a, there's like a safety on these oil filters on the 636s. That's another huge reason that stunters love them. And, and track riders do too, because this is one of those things that a lot of tracks require you to have a safety on your oil. This, this is what I'm talking about. So just clamp like that, Allen key that goes in there. Bing bang, bing bong. You guys know. How we doing, how we doing? Happy birthday, Justin, happy birthday, Justin. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry, Jay. Justin's getting overwhelmed over here. He don't say much. Ever think of coming to New Jersey to tear the streets up? Um, not really, I mean, I've wanted to do a Hood Eats out in like Camden or something like that, but that's about that. I gotta go to the other side, guys. Give me a second here. I'm gonna go to the other side of the bike to reach in and grab the oil filter. Actually, I'll just bring it over to the other side, to be honest. Woo! Woo, getting my first bike because of Brian 636, 2020 360 Duke. Watch for years and finally decided to do it. Brother, welcome to the family. We appreciate you, we love you. See, uh, be careful, bro. Get that, get that test in, quick. Uh, I'm gonna put this right here. I, I come to this side because I'm right-handed and uh, I'll reach in and, and see if I can grab it first and see if I can get it loose that way. Hopefully I can. Fuck. A lot of times it's really on there, man. And I really do put it on kind of loose, to be honest. Ugh, there it is. Got it. I'm pretty sure most of you guys already know where the oil filters are on these things. But for everyone that doesn't, it is right there. See that? So I reach my right hand in and then we just let it flow right down the side there and it goes into the, into the pan. So now we are draining all fluids. Everything is open and draining. So while we give the oil and the coolant a second to drain, this is a great time that we can get into our chain cleaning and chain adjustment. Bada bing, bada boom. Get an F4I and do a 636 versus F4I battle. I don't know about that, man. They, I, I'll break down the pros and cons for you really quick of them um, for anyone who really wants to know the pros and the cons of them. And I think jo Justin's an F4I killer. He'll tell you probably the same exact things I'm gonna tell you. The 636 has got more power. It's uh, down low for sure. However, the F4I's reliability and cheapness over the years, which is something that's actually kind of starting to go away, is one of the main reasons that it was such a staple in the stunt community. Um, and it still is, but both bikes are getting very expensive. Uh, I'm sure everyone knows that. Sean, been watching your hoodie since second episode. Would love to meet you in person, but I live in Virginia. Sean and everyone else in the live chat, I'll, I'll comment on, on this one time. You guys know what episode we're on. We're on 48 right now. I'm gonna go make 49, and during 49, I'm going to disclose the meetup for episode 50. Episode 50 is gonna be a big group ride that we're gonna have uh, at my favorite Hood Eats restaurant of all time. Um, 
So stay tuned for that. And I want to bring everyone with me. So I'm going to release the date, time, and meet up um, for episode 50. I'll get, you know, a couple weeks heads up. So for any out-of-towner that wants to come out to Chicago and ride with me and uh, be part of episode 50, you're absolutely more than welcome. I'll be dropping that video in a matter of a week or two here. So make sure to, uh, to stay tuned for Hood Eats episode 49, for real. It felt like I should address that. Boom. <clears throat> all right. So... Let me move all these fluids out of the way. Get all these girls out of here. All the coolants, all this stuff. My chain cleaning is really down and dirty. I'm sure someone's gonna say something about it too. I'm literally just, there's two pieces of it. All it is is WD-40 and the synthetic chain lube with, uh, with a little bit of wipe off. So, first things first. You guessed it, WD, I'll probably do it down here actually. Spray her down. Lube her up. WD is a great cleaning agent, actually. So it's, it's one of the best cleaning agents. Now our chain soaked in WD. We take this brush, bada bing, bada boom. It's uh, pretty dirty, but ha. Ah. Brian said his bike has 66,000. Yeah, it does. Um, I'll just take this brush over here. It's a little bit dirty in use, but it's a good way to aggravate the grease. All the old chain lube. Come back here, just Give it a really good scrubbing like this. The chain you'll see will get dirtier, dirtier, dirtier. That's all that dirty old lube is coming up. Let's do this a couple of rotations. Make sure you get the chain through the brushes a couple, couple times. Still monitoring the live chat. Now that we aggravated that grease a little bit, I'm gonna come over here, grab a dirty rag. Mile check, my F4i has 34,000, wow. That's a, that's a pretty decent amount. Pretty decent amount of, of miles. I think we live within 10 miles of each other, G.I. Joe. You might, man, if you live in Chicago. Go over here, just come down here and watch, watch the chain become clean. We always clean it then lube it. I always like to check this too. If your chain can touch your swing arm, it's too loose. Obviously the chain cannot touch the swing arm. It's pretty good. Um, we'll check our teeth on our sprockets. Still look pretty good here. I don't see any missing teeth or anything like that. Um, sometimes I'll pop the front cover and clean up there too, but not today. I'm not in the mood for that. <clears throat> Yo, Brian, what's up my guy? Patreon subscriber here. What's up, Dylan? What's up my man? How are you, bud? Beautiful day out here in Chicago. I don't know where you guys are all from, but it is a beautiful day here. I should definitely be out riding, but this thing needs to get fully serviced. I have a show and competition this weekend, and you guys know, this is my this is my, my baby, my pride and joy. So when we're doing all these competitions, this is the girl. All right, she's properly adjusted. She's clean, she's dry. Time to hit it with some of this full synthetic chain lube. Definitely not sponsored by my of these people either. This is just what I use. Nice little two coat, and that's that. Wipe off the excess on your on your shit. I think if you're going like by the book, like ver verbatim or whatever the fuck it's called, verbatim, um, you're supposed to go ride it afterwards and let it soak soak in and blah blah blah. Just let it sit on there. You know, don't wipe it all off. Let it sit. So sitting on there. Beautiful in Florida. Oh, I bet, man. Florida's always fucking beautiful. I bet. Can you please say happy B day, Elijah? Happy birthday, Elijah. Not my Elijah. It's High Side Joe and my little brother's birthday today. So we got birthdays to celebrate here, man. <clears throat> so go ahead, chain is all good. And we're gonna go back up to the front. Up here. Down some, a little bit to right there. We're gonna go ahead and plug this hole again, fill it back up with our mixture of water plus water wetter. And I'll discuss that with you guys really quick too, because I put that up on my story a couple of times actually, not just today that I use water plus water wetter. A lot of people got into their feelings, man. That, that, like, that like seriously angered some guys, I think. They're like, well, engine ice, engine ice is the best. Blah, 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 blah. Let me break it down for you. Let me break it down one time. Because I've tried them all, I really have. 
Ever thought about doing a go-kart build? Yes, a go-kart would be sick. Don't want to over-tighten this, just, just snug it up. All right, so obviously, like I said, I'll move back a little bit. Obviously, like I said, distilled water. Now, why distilled water? Distilled water has already been boiled, so all those minerals and bullshit that would have evaporated anyway when it gets hot, it's already good. So distilled water, pretty self-explanatory. The water wetter is like a, I don't know, like a lubricant for your coolant. And these numbers pretty much speak for themselves. I don't know if you're a nerd like me, but here's 50 uh, glycol, 50% water, AKA coolant. Uh, their motor was tested at 228 overall. 50-50 plus water wetter, so coolant plus water wetter, 220. Water only, 220. Um, water plus water wetter, 202 degrees. This is on a, on a dyno of, a, of like a big V8. So I know they put their time into it. Redline has obviously been around for a long time. So that's what I run. We are all hemmed up now. Water is in the hole. Let's lower the bike down and go ahead and fill up the coolant. Bada bing, bada boom. Bring you guys over here. We already got our cap off. And get you looking down the hole. There she is. Cool. Let me grab everything, boys. I'm still monitoring the live chat too, guys. I'm doing my best to multitask here. I get the stock coolant year. Uh, what is the most scary thing to ever happen to you, Ryla? Oh, man, that's a fucking pretty broad question. I don't know, man. I've had, I've had a lot of close calls on bikes, just close calls in life. I don't know. A lot, of, a lot of good stuff like that. Can I get a happy birthday, Elijah? Happy birthday, Elijah, for the second time. I don't know what is going on with that. Happy birthday, too sick. Does your CRF 450 feel heavier than your YZ? No, it does not. They feel almost identical to me. Almost. Well, get the funnel in there. Boom. All right. Back this up a little bit so I can have some work area. Um, how to build stunt riding community. Man, just, you know, just keep riding wheelies at the lot, travel, make friends, go to the events. Um, that is the best way that we're gonna preserve this and keep this going. Go ahead, start with the distilled. Yes, sir. It is that time of year. And once again, I am reminding all you up north folks, including myself, when winter comes, you empty this. You don't keep the water in there. Water is the best cooling agent on earth. That's why water plus water weather is the best coolant for the summertime on these bikes. Go ahead, take your water wetter when you're about halfway through with it like that. I love Mini Money, but damn, are they getting crowded. Yeah, Logan, they used to be uh, really small, like little get togethers here in Chicago with, you know, 20 something riders. Now. There's like almost 200 bikes at some of these, so. Oh, water wetter, yes sir. Not sponsored, just what I use. Woo. See that, about one third, one third of it, maybe a dash more, why not? Just a dash. I know it's really scientific, one ounce per one quarter, whatever. Freeze in the winter, yes, water freezes in the winter. Uh, this is called water, uh, it freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, for all you who did not make it past first grade, uh, that's that. Yeah. Empty this shit before winter, unless you want your fucking motor crack. I care about y'all's motors, or else I wouldn't be tell telling you my secrets. A little bit more until she overflows. Uh, almost. We are almost there. Almost, almost, almost. Yeah, it keeps trickling down, sorry. You guys know how this is if you've changed your coolant. You guys just keep topping her off, topping her off, topping her off. I'm gonna go ahead and call that good though. She's pretty much all the way at the top. Go ahead and throw our, uh, our cap back on. 
Opinion on the Ninja 400. What a great uh, starter bike. What a great starter bike. Um, just an overall good bike to learn on. So we are capped up on that. Uh, maybe actually give it one more second here. Make sure. Uh, just a dash. Just a dash more. Dash more water. Now we are all the way to fill. <laughs> cool. We'll go back down and take off the oil filter. Like I'm saying, man, we're making quick work of this fucking tune-up. We are making quick, quick work. I don't want to say that. Next thing I know, I'm going to fucking strip a bolt into the motor or something. Get out and ride, Ray. Um, Ninja 400 rocks. It's my stunt bike. So much fun. Yeah, that's what I was about to say is I've seen guys stunt them. Um, they're really good. Just overall beginner bikes. They're great for learning how to wheelie. Groms are up there too, though. Do Groms need an oil pickup? I'm going to piss a lot of people off in this chat with that question. I don't know who, who asked that, but a lot of you guys already know my opinion on that. I say no. I say nah. You don't need one. But that's just me. Go ahead, take our oil filter. I guess I better address this too before I get more people asking about it. All right, I'll see you. Uh, Rotella T65W40 diesel oil for your fucking big rigs. That's what we've been running all these miles, man. This is that. So <laughs> that's just is what it is. Stick my finger in there, get it a little oily, and we're going to oil up the O-ring. Take this, a little bit of oil, and go ahead and pre-oil your O-ring. Super important to get a good seal, man. Really is. Bada bing, bada boom. Yep. Pretty fucking simple. If you're not doing that, you definitely should be. And uh, get our safety back, too. I always like to run a rag over over it. Get the old oil filter out. Set it here. Uh, I got to give that oil filter another second or two, the drain boys. She's, she's pissing now. I got a couple minutes for some questions, I guess. How many engines is this? Um, this is my original motor, my guy. That is what it is. Um, I've rebuilt it twice, and what I mean by rebuilt is just the the top end gaskets. I've never replaced a piston, nothing like that, and I've adjusted the um, the valves once. That's it. Adjusted valves once, gaskets twice, uh, timing chain twice. Timing chain is extremely important on these motors. Imagine owning an NS or an NSR 500. That would be sick. Yeah, that would be fucking sick. Go ahead and wipe down my space for the oil filter to get in. We will go ahead and throw this new filter on. Don't fucking over tighten it. You will be back to change your oil in the future. You will hate past you. Believe me. All right, grab your safety. Grab safety, throw this girl back on. What are we talking about in here? Semper Fi, Anthony. Hell yeah, brother. Semper Fi. Ra? Ra? Um, put this girl all the way back until she's on the lock. There she is on the lock. Come in here and tighten her up. Who eats music? Anyone know what it is? Ooh, the guys who know, they know. There's, I've seen the, I've seen the title of the song come up in the comments all the time. Tighten this girl down. Cool. Give this one more tighten there. Good. Cool. Uh, you coming to Vegas to ride, Toasty? Toasty? My name's Toasty? Um, 
I've been to Vegas a handful of times to ride. It's always a blast. I did a hood eats there actually with Seabear. Come over to this side. You guys know what we're planning on doing here. We're gonna throw some oil at this old girl. She needs it. Too hot to ride in Vegas. Moving my computer back up here, boys, so I can get a good look at the live chat. You going to Dub CC Portland? Man, Portland. Portland would be a sick ass place to ride. Um, I don't have plans on it, no, I'm being honest. I would like to. My, my short term is definitely getting lean back, 100% uh, ready to go for this year. You guys know who knows the weekend. It's the same weekend as always. Should not come as a surprise to anybody. Shouldn't have to say much more than that. The dates will be released again, though, in, in a couple weeks here. But it's the same weekend as always. Come on. Halfway stunts. Where's the Mini Monday videos? Uh, my guy, I like to, you know, Mini Monday is a kickback for me. Making, making videos and whatnot, like, don't want to say it's a job, but I really do like to just get the one-on-one -on -one experience with guys at Mini Monday. I really do. Talk to people, not worrying about vlogging. Sorry, boys, I'm looking for my drain plug. Looking for the drain plug. Looking for the drain plug. You're a good man, Sierra. Thank you. Thank you, man. For real. What's your MOS? Jose, uh, my MO, what a great question. My MOS was 0 through 31. That was my primary. And, um, but I was with the state platoon, most of my uh, enlistment. So I was with Banshee 3 for both, both deployments. Yeah. Banshee 3. Stay is uh, surveillance and target acquisition for anyone here. Sorry if I'm using terminology like that. Man, where the fuck is my drain plug? Where is my drain plug? Oh, there it is. That's the bad thing about having a magnetic drain plug. It sticks to everything. It sticks to just about everything. Ugh. Cool. Hey, my buddy was a ranger. Other was first cab, but that's army. 0331 is MG, right? Yes, sir. That was my primary. That was my primary. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the drain plug back into the oil pan so we're not throwing good oil into the fucking pan. Nobody's got money for that with oil, how expensive it is right now, man. This T6 is so expensive, it's retarded. Uh, where's the hole? There she is. One of those things you definitely don't want to strip out. Take all our dirty oil and move this out of the fucking way. I don't spill it on myself. Ugh. It's late spring, late fall. 9-2-F here in the Army. I don't know the Army's MOS codes that well, man. Uh, you gotta explain that one to me. Ugh. Well, I'm loosening, aren't I? Yeah. Well, Throw this girl back in there. Torque her down to spec snow. That's that. That, that would always suck. You go to fucking tighten your, your bolt and it gets tighter, 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 loose. 
Any tips on wheeling a 125 two-stroke? Two-strokes don't have any engine brake. That's my biggest tip. Just drop back. Drop back, baby. And get this cap off. We got the new filter on. Shout out to Chesapeake, Virginia. Hell yeah, shout out to Chesapeake. Tune that dish. Where's everyone from in here, man? I always love asking that because we got a pretty diverse group in this chat. If you didn't know, just watch. Where's everyone from? Let, let us know your, your city and country. If you're in the States, I guess your state. Chicago in here. New York, Houston. Australia, Chicago, baby. Yeah, look at this, crazy. Pennsylvania, Tennessee, St. Louis. Gotta love St. Louis. Norway, Germany. Always gotta show love to our Euro European guys. Go ahead, clean this off. I always like to clean it off. Yeah, a lot. Davenport, let's go. <clears throat> I love you guys, man. I got this little uh, long one so I don't have to take off the cage when I fill up the oil. Cheat codes, go in there. Scotland, hell yeah, Wales. Yeah, look at this, it's crazy, man. You guys are from all over the place. I love how diverse this community and this channel is right here. Oh, we got a lot of oil here, people. Make sure this filter doesn't have any dog hair in it. You're putting crap in your oil. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Woo, gotta love that nice amber oil going in there. Cool, I always like to check if we're leaking it all right away. Mississippi, Nepal, hell yeah. So the second part of what I put in the oil, just for anyone who's also wondering, this Lucas heavy duty oil stabilizer and just like everything else, not sponsored by them, this is just what I use, it, it just is. I'm not trying to sell you guys anything or nothing like that. This is just what I've used for a long time. Ugh. What a nice surprise. Ohio in here, hell yeah. A lot of family in Ohio, man. A lot, a lot of family out there. I head out, I head out there quite a bit, actually. I just poke a hole in it. This is that motor, honey. Look at how thick this stuff is, boys. Look at that. That's like fucking honey. Really good for the clutches on these. Really just, it's just good in the motors. I'm telling you. Oh, the 636 loves it. A little more, there we go. I just eye it up at this point, man. A lot of people want to know the ratios and this and that. It says 10%. Um, I just eye it up. I'm not going to lie. Have you ever done your dream trick on your 636? If not, what's your dream trick? My dream trick. I think my dream trick was always something related to, to stoppies. I always would, would kind of en envy or not envy, uh, watch in awe. That's the word. Watch in awe at the guys doing it at the lot when I couldn't. So fill her up now. Now we've got some of that motor honey in there. Let her sit for a second. When are you coming to ride in Ohio? I was just out there riding in Ohio like two weeks ago. I was in Dayton. I was in Dayton for two days riding. So I was just out there, man. You missed me. I love you guys, man. Uh, one, two, six, Lucas into my truck. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, anywhere from that 10 to 20%. Aloha from the 808. Murdoch, thank you, brother. Aloha, the 808's, I'm assuming, Hawaii. That's pretty sick. I don't think we saw any Hawaii's in the chat yet. Omaha, Nebraska trips. Uh, you know who I would see out there if I go. I gotta discuss with him. My guy got popped, Fooligan got popped. I don't know. You guys didn't know, big big moto vlogger out of there, Fooligan, he's one of my one of my friends. He came here for Lean Back. Um, yeah. Lean back gloves coming any week now. Already in production. It should be here any week now, to be honest. She's a she's an oil guzzler, if you can't tell. 
I let it drain down and then see where, where we're at in the sight glass. Fully gained, yeah, that's my guy. A little bit more. Come on, we're still not even in the sight glass. You've been out riding in LA, Cali? Yes, sir, a lot. I did a, a lot of riding in LA this past year, actually. A lot of videos on my channel in LA, if, uh, if you're interested. A lot. How much is gas in Chicago? Man, I feel like you just brought up my fucking dead cousin or something. Something not fun to talk about. Ugh. Not, not good, man. It's, it's six fifty for premium right now. It's, it's rough. It's rough. It is rough. Isn't the level on the glass not accurate because the bike isn't level as a result of the rear wheel being raised? Uh, very little, man. I, I've always filled it like this. I always run a little extra too. That should be to the top of the set glass and then some. I'm gonna, so it's at the top now. Now I add just a little bit more. And I'm good. That's that. Same in Cali. Yeah, e E85 is cheap. Uh, I don't know anyone running E85 in their stunt bike. That would be kind of crazy. That would be nuts, actually. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. We'll throw the cap back on. Will you be back in Sweden anytime soon? Well, why do you ask? Yeah, I will be there very soon. Very, very soon. You think the ZX-10R would make a good stunt bike? Stunt bike, uh, there's a couple guys that do. There's a couple guys that roll stoppies on them. Uh, circle, wheelie, stuff like that. It's, it's, I'm not gonna say it's a good bike. Is it possible? Yes. You know, it's, it's asking a booster, can it really, yes, it can. Is it a good bike for it? Not the best, but whatever. To each their own, to each their own. Guys, just like that, we just did a full fucking service on this thing. Chain has been adjusted. Oil filter has been changed. Oil has been changed. Coolant has been changed. Uh, she's ready to go. For everyone who uh, is gonna be out in North Carolina competing this weekend, uh, good luck to you. I will be there. I will see you guys there. Super excited for that, actually. Um, definitely we'll have the 0304 out there and uh, hopefully be doing some competitions with all you guys. I want to see you ride in the UK. Yeah, the UK would be sick, man. Um, UK is one of those places that I definitely have not ridden. UK and Australia um, would, would both be really cool places. I want to do more international stuff. My katana needs an oil change. Yeah, mine too. Yeah, North Carolina this weekend, my guy. I'll be there. For everyone who's tuned into this live, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Ride safe today. Hopefully, I'll be having a, a new vlog out to you guys in a couple, a couple days here. Uh, for everyone who's rocked with me for over the years, I love you guys. I can't thank you enough. Everyone who donated on the Super Chat, definitely be going out and getting a couple drinks for Justin's birthday today. As you know, it's his birthday. Uh, everyone go wish High Side Joe a happy birthday as well because they are birthday buddies. Can you believe that? Both a couple of sickos. Um, I love you guys. Respect life. Ride safe. I don't want to see anyone here in the news for, you know, hitting a car or something. We've already had too much of that here in Chicago this year. So be safe out there. Bye, guys.